Jim, thank you. An update now to an I-Team investigation of failing Jacksonville apartment communities that receive subsidies from the federal government to help some tenants pay their rent. Last week, we showed you the troubling living conditions at Cascade Apartments in Grand Park, where some people receive rent support through what are called Section 8 vouchers. This week, we told you two sister properties on the east side are under contract after years of substandard conditions. A nonprofit called Lift Jacks and a developer hope to buy both complexes for more than $6 million if they get approval from the Federal Department of Housing and Urban Development. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Vic Michelucci shows us why the current owner contends not all the blame lies with the landlord. Let me be transparent. Landlords at troubled apartment complexes usually hide from us at the I-Team. They often send their management company's employees to kick us out and tell us no comment. Eastside Terrace and Gardens owner Andrew Podre is different. He's been called a slumlord many times, but tells us there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that factors in to these failing complexes. It's not hard to be angry looking at all the issues families have dealt with at these east side apartments, trash, rodents, roaches, and leaks. Resident Adrian Long is fed up. They done changed so many times. Y'all don't even know how many times somebody done different than been out here. Right. To take over property and don't, don't do anything. She says she's angry at management and ownership. And the properties were just fine right up until 2020. Andrew Podre owns the sister properties. So either suddenly in 2020, I had an epiphany and I became a slumlord overnight. Or there's something else more to the story that the public has not heard yet. More to the story, he says, is under funding from the federal government. He and other private investors buy affordable housing complexes and get federal reimbursement from tenants on government assistance. He showed us last year's expenses from his personal records, claiming a loss of more than $540,000. Essentially, he tells us the property is costing more to keep up with, and while costs are much higher, federal funding is staying around the same. This HUD form shows contract rents for a two-bedroom apartment in 2017 going for $720 a month at the complexes. In 2021, it went up to $776. That doesn't keep up with comparable pricing in the same area, which averages now $1,100 a month. Do you have any message to the residents at these sister complexes right now? I would like to say through the years, I have always gone above and beyond to properly maintain the Eastside Garden, Eastside Terrace. Through time, the department was paying me in real dollars far less because of inflation. A HUD spokesperson tells us HUD disagrees with Mr. Podre's statement. However, since the matter is currently in litigation, HUD cannot comment on this topic at this time. HUD sets what's known as fair market rent, it's FMR calculations, on October 1st of each year. Attorney Jim Kowalski is CEO of Jacksonville Area Legal Aid, a nonprofit that helps tenants in crisis. He says the Jacksonville Housing Authority has a wait list of 147,000 people, and there's way more demand for government housing than supply. There's no quick fix for that. And I think there's a very strong argument that the fair market rent calculations by HUD need to be more flexible, need to be more responsive to local markets, and certainly need to be higher as we use that as one of the elements in tackling Jacksonville's stubborn affordable housing crisis, which has been in the works for decades. As for the sale of the Eastside Terrace and Eastside Gardens, the HUD spokesperson said the agency is, quote, working diligently with the parties, but such transactions can take time to review. Attorneys with Jacksonville Area Legal Aid say residents should keep pushing for help, document what's wrong, and report it to local code enforcement, as well as the federal government. There are tips on how to do that the right way. We've posted that on our website, newsforjax.com. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station. Vic, thank you. You can watch our series of stories on deteriorating Jacksonville apartment communities by going to the iTeam page on newsforjax.com.